What's going on guys, T-Mart here and today we are going to be diving deeper into the Exo Zombies gameplay that we got from yesterday's Havoc DLC trailer. Because I went through it frame by frame, and there's a lot of stuff that I missed, I'm sure a lot of you guys missed, that I wanted to point out to you all as well as get your opinion on and kind of speculate on what some of it could mean. So uh, this should be pretty fun. Now uh, starting off here in the very beginning, this very first scene, we kind of get the setting and where we're going to be fighting these undead. So it's a completely destroyed and ravaged Atlas building. It looks like it's some sort of like lab or research facility or something like that like maybe they were looking into this virus or, or you know whatever caused this breakout and uh, they're, they're you know trying to figure it out and then everything goes wrong and, and chaos ensues you know that's how a lot of zombies movies work and stuff like that now uh, moving on right here in the title screen we can see there are going to be lots of different types of zombies. We kind of see that throughout the rest of the trailer too. But there are four here that are just kind of like normal looking zombies. And there's one big purple pussy guy. And there's also one that looks like he's glowing. Or he's on fire or something like that. So maybe he explodes when you kill him. I'm not sure, but it's kind of interesting. Now, uh, next up, next scene, we see an average zombie do a boost jump, and then he's followed by a zombie with a teal trail behind him. And wait, this guy looks like he's got like giant pincers or giant scissors for hands. It's really, really intense. So there's another zombie variant for you all. Now, uh, next up, moving on, crawlers are back. Just wait until they boost crawl at you. That thing is absolutely terrifying. But also on this same image, check out the security card key slot next the door that's very very important because boom check this out you're playing as decker the security guard and he's got his id card down the bottom left hand side of the screen you guys can see it says atlas access level and then it's got double zero in the red box so this is early on the game and he doesn't have really access to anything but i think there are going to be ways to upgrade this access level and, and you know kind of make it higher and that's how you progress through the story, which I believe the main goal is to evacuate the complex you're trapped in and, and get out of there alive. So there are a few options uh, of how this could work. You know, one, it could be related to rounds, like maybe the more rounds you survive, maybe in batches of like, you know, five rounds or 10 rounds, you survive that group of rounds, you get higher access and that gets you, you know, access to the next room and, and close to getting out. Or maybe it's tied to events and objectives. Like, you know, maybe you have to traverse through the building to different rooms in different areas. You've got to like, you know, turn on a generator or power up a doorway or hack a computer or something like that. And, and maybe through accessing these things and doing these things or hacking computer terminals or whatever it may be, you increase your uh, your kind of access, you know, level to be able to get into the, the tougher and further, you know, areas and, and be able to hopefully progress the story and get out alive. So it's going to be kind of interesting how that works. And then also that brings up the question, is there going to be a finite ending, like extinction? Like, is there one main goal at the end to survive and once you get out, you're able to fly away and, and, and you know, save the day? Or is it going to be like Treyarch Zombies, where it's just unlimited rounds and there is some story mode to it, but it's also just kind of like an arcadey, like, kill as many zombies as you can, stay alive as long as you can, and, and try to, you know, make your way up the leaderboard. It's going to be kind of interesting how that works out. Let me know how you guys would like to see it done down in the comments. Would you rather have it be like Extinction with an actual ending, or would you rather have it be like Zombies, where it's kind of infinite? Let me know. But uh, anyway, moving on. Speed Cola! <laughs> you guys get it? Like Ricola, the Ricola commercials? Oh, that wasn't really funny. Alright, moving on. There's another zombie variant right here. You guys can see he's blue-eyed and electrified. Very interesting, very terrifying. Uh, next up, we've got care packages. I wonder how you earn them. If you guys have any ideas, feel free to leave it down in the comments. Uh, next up, we get our four characters. We kind of went through this yesterday, but we'll do it again. Number one is Oz, the maintenance man, played by Jen Malkovich. Uh, number two is Lilith, the IT specialist, played by Rose McGowan. Number three is Decker, the security guard, played by John Bernthal. And then finally, number four is Mr. Khan, the executive, played by Bill Paxton. My idea with this was, I wonder if they're going to have special roles like you did in Extinction. Like Extinction, you had like, you know, the medic and the, you know, assault guy and all that other stuff. I wonder if they're going to have the same thing here. Like, you know, maybe Oz can build traps since he's like the maintenance man. And then maybe Lilith can hack into certain rooms and gain access to certain areas through the computers. You know, I I'm not sure. That'd be pretty cool. It seems kind of unlikely though, because then how would you play it, you know, solo or, or with two people or something like that if you didn't have all the characters and all of their abilities? We'll have to wait and see. Now, next up, the next part, we're going to see the Cell 3 Cauterizer, which is a badass triple-barreled energy sawed-off shotgun, which is, is absolutely insane. It's a mouthful. But so what I'm interested in is what's actually on the HD. You guys can see down the bottom middle, there's some sort of like card there that's got like a bear trap or something on it, and it looks like power 
power-ups are going to be back, which is awesome. And then also on the right side, you can actually see score streaks that are placed on the map. There's a recon drone going out and about, and there's also a sentry gun uh, you know, placed down the ground. And those are likely to be obtained through the care package. But I also wonder if there's another way to, to buy them as well, like maybe off the walls or, or at stations, kind of like an Exo Survivor or something like that. We'll have to wait and see. Next up, looks like we got another zombie variant, uh, Nova Zombies. So these are kind of like the uh, the crawling zombies from like Kino and Five and a few of the other Black Ops 1 zombies maps. They kind of, you know, go around and when you kill them, they explode gas. And that gas takes out the other zombies in their vicinity, which is nice. But then if you run through that gas, it hurts you and slows you down and stuff like that. So uh, it's kind of like a, a big risk, big reward type deal. And then also you can see this guy has both the sentry and the recon drone available to call in on his D-pad. And it looks like they still stack so as you earn score streaks in zombies mode they're going to stack up you can say them to use them when you actually want to which is kind of cool and then finally the last part of the video we're going to see another zombie variant this time with red eyes so he doesn't have the normal orange like we've seen uh, we've also seen one with blue and now this guy's got red and i wonder what his special power is going to be so uh, yeah there you guys have it that my friends is my quick little breakdown of all the the gameplay that we have of zombies so far i'm really really excited about this let me know what you guys are thinking and, uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out these two videos. See you yet. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.